fee is the ULDC text amendments, zoning map, and fee schedule. Is that it? Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, if you wouldn't mind, if you would just please turn your agenda item to the very next page after the cover sheet, the approved summary document. And I just wanted to start there because back in June, um, the county commission approved these amendments uh, with the last text amendment. Remember, we went through some public notice and debate and ultimately had this slate of amendments approved. When we did that, um, we had since a conversation with the county attorney and he had two recommendations for us concerning text amendments. The first was that when we adopted the changes, which are these six pages, which are obviously not the entire ULDC, but we wanted to be concise and give you a summary document, they were not incorporated into the entire document have your packet now. So we approved kind of a summary of changes. His first recommendation was that when we approve these changes, we don't do it just as a summary, we do it as the entire code. So we have to incorporate it into the entire ULDC, not just the summary. So we noted that, we try to honor that, which is the main reason why we're here, is to try to incorporate those changes into the, into the document as it stands and have a full version for your consideration. So that's the main reason why. The other recommendation was that when we adopt text amendments, we adopt the zoning map the day of the commission. And so what that means is normally we would print the map that we had for you know, a time, <coughs> days, weeks before the county commission meeting. We would adopt that map the day of the commission meeting. And the second recommendation was that we would adopt the map that is printed that day. So you have a draft map, and we practiced on the planning commission to try to run through our scheme within one day. We think we can do that. Um, but that way, the date of your consideration is the same date that Matt is actually officially prepared. Um, we're working toward both of those goals. That's the main reason why we're here, is to bring this back up, try to honor those recommendations. I know um, one of the things you probably like me to say is that these text amendments are the exact same thing that you adopted uh, over the summer. Uh, but they're not exactly the same take these changes and paste them back into the code. Sometimes your page numbers and your spacing changes, minor things like that change. The only wording changes that I've seen in this whole text amendment have been on the fee schedule where we change the date and page numbers. And then on the map where we change the dates on the actual uh, map to read September 9th rather than the June date that we had back in the original map. So I offer all that just because I want to be very clear believe it's been advertised, but we didn't do any special reach out this time. It felt like we went through so much of that this summer, but our intent is really to bring on a full version of the code and update the map and just try this um, for those recommendations. So that's why we're here. We'll try to address any questions that you have. The planning Commission has been through staff. Um, receive both recommendations of approval. I don't have any other public comments. I have comments for the board. That's a little more background about why we have you know, such a thick notebook this time is because we're trying to present a full version for you here in the Any questions for Mr. Dad? Okay. Here you go, we'll move on to agenda item seven.